I'm Rachel Lee reporting for 4-H Network News at the National 4-H Science, Engineering and Technology Conference. I'm here with Mr. Byron Garrett, the National 4-H Program Leader. What are the goals for this conference? Goals for this conference, we've brought together state liaison teams from across the country. There are approximately 40 states that are participating. Some of them have brought youth, volunteers, as well as adult professional staff so they can get a better understanding of the science, engineering, and technology mission mandate and initiative with our goal of reaching a million young people by 2013. So what is the difference between the set initiatives that we're putting forth this week with the ones in the past that 4-H has put forth? I think historically in the past when people have thought about science, engineering, and technology or 4-H in general, they thought about either ag production or animal science in some of the traditional areas. And in this particular time frame, we're really thinking about cutting edge areas of science, whether it's alt fuels and biofuels or looking at GIS and GPS activities, those things that are more cutting edge in this day and time. So why is it important for you to be involved in SET? It's engage, uh, to engage young people in science, engineering, and technology. It's critically important right now, one, because we need a new group of scientists and engineers and technicians to, for the pipeline of the workforce of the future. That's one reason. The second piece is young people are directly engaged in set-related activities on a regular basis. If you look at the young guys that created YouTube or MySpace.com, they were 20 years old, 21 and 22, and then turn around and sell their business for a multi-billion dollar investment. So looking at those types of opportunities, we'd like to think that we have young people in 4-H who are just as creative as they are. Thank you. I'm Rachel Lee reporting for 4-H Network News.